Hello, um, this is the LRM podcast. Uh, this is a collection of various bits and pieces of the readings and other things that we've done. They don't really fit into the general kind of cohesion of the readings, so we put them all together into, you know, one part of slightly less good material. It's kind of like the Yogcast only shit. I love the idea so, of cohesive. I, also, <laughs> they're not you know cohesive what? at all. Podcasts in the world do exist outside the Yogscast. They're not the only people that do this. Yeah, but they're the only one I listen to, therefore that's oh, the only right. kind of point I have to go on. Um, so anyway, uh, what we're going to be doing, as you can hear in the background, is deciding on uh, some free uh, theme music for the podcast. So this song is called My Stash by Midnight Club the Third, and I was just wondering, uh, Ben and Stephen, what you think of it. It's Sounds like knockoff Final Fantasy Nine. <laughs> well, Midnight Club was a street racing game, like knockoff street racing game on the PS2. And if anything makes you think of street racing, <laughs> it's this song. Well, <laughs> basically, because the sweat is not dripping you... down my balls like it <laughs> need for speed. <laughs> this is basically music that. I randomly generated on a website that randomly generates band names, song names, album art, and the music itself. And what I like to think of this is it's called My Stash because it's like a medieval song about someone stealing this guy's weed and he's done a fairly like annoyed sounding <laughs> song about it. Well, this, you know this is the part of the song where he gets his weed back because of the key change. Right. Uh, you know what other like, right, I'll, I'll just franchise had a randomly can... generated theme? What? The Crazy Bus theme. <laughs> well, we are we are the podcast equivalent of Crazy Bus, is what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, I feel like nothing communicates LR and Reading better than the Crazy Bus theme. <laughs> <laughs> We're not using the Crazy Bus theme. It's, it's licensed music. That's a shame. Uh, Non-licensed. Yeah, all the music that I'm going to show to you today is music... Well, you, you, you'll find out in a second. Um... I think we can just head on straight over to song two. Hypothetically, right. say that one of your one of our listeners doesn't know what this Crazy Bus thing is. What is Crazy Bus? If you go on uh, YouTube and look up Crazy Bus theme, all will be revealed. Um, the best, the best representation I could give to you today of the Crazy Bus theme is. <laughs> it's, like, it's what it's happens if you like for dubstep. If you like took code and made it into a sound. Yeah, <laughs> I can't describe. It. It's like if you took memory falling into place and made it a sound like Tetris. Hmm. It's if you ran a piece of paper through a a, a a NES MIDI machine. Yeah, it's it's great. Okay, do you are readers yeah. or listeners? What I could do is I could just replace the old video from I Immortal with the theme from Crazy Bus instead of uh, crawling in my skin. That could work. Anyway, and um, we're side tracking. Um, I can put this in the podcast. Oh, it is the podcast. Aha! Uh-huh. Everything's falling into place. We could put the podcast of the podcast in. We could put the pod- I we could, could just sabotage it all the, by name dropping a certain someone. <laughs> I can just delete that, don't worry, it's fine. It's great um, because I, I now have a tool <laughs> we can just say something and that means we want to edit it out. Hmm. So For example. If we, if we were to say something we didn't want to say, we'd just go... And that'll yep. be it. Anyway, so <laughs> after we've edited all that <laughs> really terrible material out, let's move on to song two. So um, uh, when you're ready. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> it's is great, this? isn't it? So um, this is your first introduction to DJ Paul. This is a song, this is a trance song that I made when I was 15, I think. And if you like, Ben, you can use this opportunity to tell everyone about the DJ Paul saga. What, the DJ Paul experience? Yeah. The franchise that never took off. The Icarus that flew too close (laughs) to the sun. Well, the Icarus that flew too close to the sun and then was thrown like a frisbee. (laughs) Basically, yeah, for some reason... You decided to become a DJ. Well, uh, you say that. I it wasn't really a DJ. I just made um, very limited songs and redistributed them. I this is one it. of the ones you never heard because it's one of the ones that I think is okay. Like, it's a fairly decent trance song. It's just very basic. I feel like we should be telling the story in time the music. 
Yeah, it's a bit upbeat, isn't it? It's great. This could be like this could be like an end uh, end credit segment or something. I hear the verse. Oh, Paul became Hold on, who are we crediting DJ. here? Paul became a DJ. Paul became a Thanks DJ. to Ben, Stephen, and Paul. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's pretty much that's that song. So that's okay, I guess. Um, oh, are we ready to move on to song three? Yes. Yes. Okay. Reinventing jokes. <laughs> like I said, these are all completely randomly generated. Yeah. <laughs> if, if reinventing means making them not funny, then. <laughs> this one kind of this one doesn't really leave a lot to the imagination. It's very cat on keyboard. <laughs> it sounds. It sounds like really poor quality MIDI music you'd get at the start of like a children's educational game from the late 90s or a Venezuelan bus game <laughs> oh, it's better than that it's bringing that's the thing crazy, bu- crazy bus crazy bus could have used this song as their intro and it would have been ten times better um no <laughs> <laughs> this is making me think of something very specific wait hold on I a second something's, place it. something's going on Oh, for fuck, hold on a second, our hamster just broke free. Oh. <laughs> is this for the podcast? <laughs> this is going to be a so separate video on? just on its own YouTube. Yeah, we're going to need like, a separate podcast just for bloopers. It would have been unfortunate if it was, oh, the hamster just died. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, sorry about up. that. Big the hamster is quite I thought this would be good material when I came back, and no, it's just you talking about. <laughs> we were discussing how your oh, hamster his... would tunnel. No, he just escaped out of his uh, ball when when he was exercising in it, but we picked him up. It's fine. Okay. Right, number four. End of the tunnel. Yeah, it's great. As, when's the rap coming in? There's no rap. They're both instrumental. Anytime we have anything to say about this, go ahead. We're waiting for something uh, to happen. Uh, yeah. Oh, 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 there. That's another layer. <laughs> All the Casio keyboard presets are coming in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made these presets myself, actually. I'm very proud of these presets. Did you use orchestral hit? The one that's on every keyboard ever made. Yeah. The one that's like a dog barking. (laughs) Oh yeah, that. Deer, deer, deer. Yeah, best one. Why is this five minutes long? Because it's a trance song. They all last five minutes. Was it maybe? We can listen to all of them if you like. No, this was uh, track eleven on my fourth album, Escape Plan. Genuinely, did not make that. Paul was definitely single when he made it, but. (laughs) <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> Did you know that shortly after I got a girlfriend, I both stopped making music and stopped <laughs> watching anime? I don't think we're going to the reasons why I stopped watching anime. Yeah. Actually, anyway, I was right. listening to um, Twyla, and there is an incredibly cringeworthy segment where you're talking about your anime girlfriends. <laughs> oh, I remember that. Yeah, that was good. Everyone go back and listen to that again. <laughs> <laughs> Along with Paul I'll going, just, I'll, oh I'll no, just, I'll... the hamster got out. <laughs> oh, I'll keep that in, don't worry. <laughs> I'll edit out most of us streaming and running around the house trying to figure out what to do with the hamster, but it's all right. Did you actually find it? Um, yeah, we did. Anyway, well, okay, Welcome right. back, Our that's l- end of the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> so, you heard the first 30 seconds and then we had to <laughs> get rid of the rest of it. <laughs> uh, well, I've got, got some, I... So, now for the last song. This is one we'll all be familiar with. I've just seen the title. I'm the master of the bass. <laughs> I'm the master of the bass. To be fair, this is the greatest song you've ever written. <laughs> it's true. By quite a significant margin. <laughs> At the same time, though, that's like saying, like, this is the best Uwe Boll film. Like, <laughs> you're not clearing a high bar here. So, um... Just, just if you haven't figured it out yet, this is a song I made called uh, "The Master of the Bass." Really? Is that what you called it? <laughs> oh yes. God, I forgot. There's the other voice sample. Um, I may need to edit that part out. 
I highly doubt we're using this one as our theme. Because <laughs> he's not given us consent, but it should be okay. <laughs> One thing I can what say is both me and Paul have done the cringe where they sing of creating our own worms sound effects. Oh, I do. Yeah, I have like f- five fucking worm sound banks. <laughs> you had so, to go above and beyond, didn't you? <laughs> I have one for when I was nine, one for when I was like 11. Oh, <laughs> go, nine there's there's a new one every, every few years. The ironic thing is, is that we're going to actually be recording the opening segment about two years after all the other segments. It's going to sound really weird. There's going to be um, jokes about football and wrestling from two years ago. Like The, the football wrestling thing's very except for the fact where I talk about the 2014 Royal Rumble. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, what you can... What you, the viewers, are allowed... This is, this is your choice now. You get oh, to pick both an opening theme number and five, an ending number five, theme. Number five, number five. Not number five. If 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 you if there's significant interest, I may upload number five as a standalone video on our page. On the LRM listening channel. The yeah. one video. I'm not making a logo <laughs> for that. <laughs> no, I'll put it on reading. All one thousand subscribers at once going oh, New LRM reading. I'm the master of the base. What the oh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make I'll make it the top video. <laughs> Auto load when you go to that the would page. work. So yeah, vote on your favourite song, and if no one votes, which is very likely, then uh, we'll just pick our own. Yeah. So remember, opening and closing song. We'll, Good. We'll Thanks. go with now. And now, man. well, and now, and now, co- coming up for the next half hour is um, loads of sound clips from two years ago. So have fun. Tell us if you like the podcast. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Uh, SoundCloud. <laughs> We're not doing Good SoundCloud points, anymore. Yes. SoundCloud is like finished. No, I, I've got I've got an idea for it. Oh, okay. Well, you can edit down all the tangents that we go off for the YouTube video, and then put the unedited shit on SoundCloud. Yeah, Obviously, uh, even for SoundCloud. real life stuff notwithstanding. So, like mm. the people who just want to get the fan fiction can go on the YouTube video. <laughs> hey, so remember that time you fell off the wall, Stephen? <laughs> 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 this one, this isn't going in, is it? Oh, yeah. well, I suppose it could, yeah, it's still... very non-specific. But yeah, remember the time you fell off the wall? Vaguely, yes. There definitely wasn't a bus just about to drive off. <laughs> no, there wasn't. <laughs> it was a break time. I don't and you, I don't know what... In my head, it's know... more dramatic if it was just about to move. <laughs> I don't know why. I think you just decided to jump up on the wall and your legs kind of gave way. It's like, one second you were there and then one second you weren't. <laughs> it was... I was stood backwards facing it. No, I was stood facing away from it. Leaned my left foot up to just stand on it like I do every single day. And instead my foot just went, huh, nope. Down I went. <sighs> it was fantastic. Should point out for the people that haven't seen this wall before. It was two foot up where I stood and three foot down across the other side. It was an odd design, uh, wasn't it? Well, come as no surprise that I don't remember this. Was I there? <laughs> yeah, everyone was there. This was like okay, the funniest thing then. Steve ever did. How do you not remember it? <laughs> That's such an insult. <laughs> <laughs> it was very was funny. Funniest, you know, funniest thing you ever did was fall on your arse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, fuck up. God. Well, if you, if you fancy a career in like slapstick or something, then it could work. That's definitely great for a professional. Right. Yeah, I'm great at slapstick. <laughs> I'm great at I'm falling over all I'm like a fucking pro falling off walls. Just put a wall in front of me and I'll guarantee I'll fall off it. So here's the fucking story. Right, uh, Daniel Bryan is a really fucking over-wrestler. He's like incredibly, incredibly like popular. And they didn't put him in the fucking Rumble. It's like the biggest match of the year and they didn't put him in. And like, when number 30 was coming out, it was counting down and everyone was screaming for him. And then fucking Rey Mysterio comes out and they sandbagged the share of it, booed them until like forever. Then Batista comes in and wins, and it's ah, it's so terrible. And no one will get what I just said. I know. I've I've, I've just I've just already done paracetamol. Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst fucking thing. Anyway, and anyway, my idea was right is that instead of right. having an outtakes podcast, we just have like a podcast for everything that isn't explicitly related to readings. Ah, oh, is that what the Twitter thing was about? Yeah, what yeah, I, 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 I kind of, I kind of like went ahead on that one. Yeah, I just decided I was, gonna, I was going to do the LRM. 
There's a tweet about the LRM podcast on Twitter. Coming soon, um, the LRM podcast or something. Yeah. Oh, right. So, yeah, basically, I can just... I don't know how much material we've got, because I haven't got the other ones, but we should have enough for something yeah. decent. Okay. I hope. This is going in, by the way, because we have, like, no material. Not me being very mad about wrestling. Yeah, yeah, and also <laughs> what I just said about the LRM podcast. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Great. Fucking Batista. Anyway, uh, I was at the Hib- I was on? at the Hibs game on Sunday, and um, no, no, no. If you've done your no, fucking, you've done your fucking no, wrestling, and I can do no, because no, no. Let me tell you the difference between wrestling and football. Okay, this is fucking serious talk. Right, football Hibs, you know, are going to lose. <laughs> and wrestling, but for wrestling, some, there's some, a there's someone's that been little pre- glimmer someone's that Vince McMahon isn't crazy and will actually book something you want to see. Someone's been and we're talking over each other. <laughs> <laughs> Paul is desperately trying to defend his honor. Okay, go ahead. Anyway, this 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 game, right? We were playing Celtic, right. so I wasn't expecting anything. Um, but the referee denied us a penalty, gave them a free kick which they scored from for nothing, and gave them a penalty for nothing in the last minute. So we lost 4-0 instead of, like, 3-0. So I was a bit annoyed about that. <laughs> yeah, anyway. About... <laughs> we lost by four points instead of three. This is not on. Is that... They're not points, Stephen. You don't know anything. And the other thing about wrestling versus football is at least wrestling admits that it's fucking fake. No, that is true, yeah. Most of the is a complete <laughs> fix. They explain what they're fixing and why it's being fixed. Exactly. They, they don't make... They've given up on even trying to pretend they're fake anymore. It's brilliant. Something, Except when wrestlers uh, fall from the ceiling and die. Some, that's kind oh, of yeah, Something I thought was quite funny about um, FIFA, and by, oh, funny, and by funny I mean d- absolutely disgusting, was uh, for the World Cup qualification a few years ago. Like, right. you know how in Europe, like, the top two in each qualification group, well, first place goes through and second place goes into a playoff. Yeah. Well, at the start of the qualification, FIFA didn't actually say anything about how the playoffs were organised, but then uh, nearer to, like, when it was finishing, when teams like France and Portugal, like, all the big countries were in, like, second place in the groups, they said, oh, we're going to use the seeding system to determine who plays who in the playoff. They they explicitly want the big teams to go through. And then there was that whole France-Ireland bullshit. Well, that was just yeah. stupid, as far as I remember. <laughs> but then again, the worst thing. Like, as evidenced by the next World Cup, Ireland aren't really that great. <laughs> no. But then again, now it was basically you know the worst of two worlds. Either way, you're going to get a fucking shit team in the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Well, um, um, important things past football and wrestling. Forty-seven years ago, so the Apollo One crew lost their lives. You were born. Oh right, yeah. Yes, and you wasn't born for <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're listening to the LRM podcast, sponsored by your company, maybe. I was critically appraising um, uh, a research paper mm-hmm. today in class. Was this better? Than like, it? <laughs> it, it, almost. Because <laughs> was it this was your fucking, own? It was a research paper examining whether or not the mummy's curse that uh, that occurred when Tutankhamun's uh, sarcophagus was opened was real or not. So I this wonder, guy, this guy like what, followed what were around. His findings? <laughs> yeah, he followed around these people who who were like in Egypt when the coffin was opened to see if they died more quickly, and they didn't. Test methodology: I opened and closed Tutankhamun's tomb a hundred times over to see if I would spontaneously die. And and we were we were supposed to like write like you know what's wrong with this thing, and I just like highlighted the whole thing and just put WCF. <laughs> <laughs> that that was my critical appraisal. Uh... It was on QI as well. They had the tomb because, like, one of the last guys who went to the tomb died at like the age of ninety four or something. And, like, one of the papers read, "Tomb Cummins Curse Strikes Again." <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Was this re- was this like one of those like weird papers? Uh, like, yeah, yeah it was probably like the Daily or Sport or something. You know, like the one that said like your know, son turned into fish finger kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Actual 9/11 story. Nine eleven was an inside job, or is that too mainstream? Jerb, derp. Jerb, jerbs. Dicker jib! <laughs> right. Oh, I just got it. I just. Yeah. Oh, fucking it. I didn't realize what you were saying. 
thing is, if I keep that in there, no one's going to know that I went there. They're just going to know that's a Scottish university. Well, they will now. <laughs> we, yeah, because we just fucking <laughs> sabotaged it. You would know where I lived if you'd listened to the LRM podcast. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to edit to hook I'm going to edit all of these in over fucking hey, serial killers over, and prospective stalkers. I'm going to edit <laughs> Do all Do you like killing people? <laughs> listen, listen to the LRM podcast, get personal details. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm going to stop talking. You say that again. Oh, wait. Oh, you are actually oh, yeah. okay. I'm going to I'm going to put like stalk I, I completely I'm, forgot what I'm going to put like <laughs> I'm going to put you saying that over like stalk music and then it can just be the jingles that we play every so often. Okay. It's basically... Hey, stalker... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> right. Hey, stalkers and prospective serial killers. Do you like murdering people that you hear on the internet? Then listen to the upcoming LRN podcast, <laughs> available on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, you can just edit. I no, just realised that, that we could just use your fucking audio. Yeah. Well, it's too late now, because I went fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Mm. Hey, stalker... No, no. Hello, my, no, name's, right. my name's Billy Connolly. I'm Billy Conley because I'm using a Scottish accent and every Scottish person sounds the same when you're listening to the LRM podcast. And apparently my name is Paddy McGowan because I live in Ireland. Yeah, There's the Guinness I, I over there and the leprechauns <laughs> and the Guinness lucky charms. And, Have you found the and goal the at the end of the rainbow? <laughs> you, you'd, know, you'd, know my, you'd know my religious affiliation, affiliation whatever that affiliation. word is. <laughs> you should write fan fiction. If you listen to the LRM podcast. Oh, I'm so sorry about this, but can we do a quick derail to talk about point inflation in the Harry Potter series? <laughs> it's the nerdiest fucking subject. But you know, Paul, you'll know this. In book one... Yeah, that was the worst thing. That was the worst thing. They kill the troll, well, or whatever. They get what? Five points each no, and they, five points docked they, for they, Hermione they, being in the wrong place? No. But I thought what you meant it? at the end of the year when like Slytherin are like miles ahead, and then Dumbledore's like, "No, oh, no, no, not no, that." No, we got within... we got some last minute points here. Mm -hmm. But like, uh, what was it? We it got was... some last minute Gryffindor wins here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how, how, did, how does how does Slytherin how does Slytherin like w almost win when they're like dickheads anyway? Because <laughs> Snape <laughs> Snape is literally he's like. He's just like he's he's like Germany in like post World War One. He's just printing points. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, I like that oh, analogy. That was a good analogy. Yeah, hyperinflation. But you know they beat the troll and get five points each. Okay. Yeah. You, fucking. And by the end of book two, what did they get? Two hundred points apiece for like saving the school. The troll was pretty fucking deadly. Mm. And even like what mid book one, they get fifty points each docked for um. Sneaking the dragon out. That's a point. Well, that sounds like a sexual No one gives movie. a fuck about points anyway, like, who cares? I know. Who even won in book three? I think Gryffindor oh, won maybe. every year. More to the point, yeah. what did they even get for winning? I don't think they ever... No, they just, they, they, just, they, got, they flags. just... It's it's kind, it's, it's kind of like the Scottish Premier League, except there's four teams. And two of them are Celtic what, the, and Rangers. The best house from Hogwarts goes to play in the Champions League and gets knocked out in the first round. <laughs> yeah. By AC Milan <laughs> Academy. Here's here's something for the podcast. You totally put me on the spot. I don't have anything. Uh, right, we need to think of a funny story for the podcast. I don't have one. Maybe the funny story can be us trying to think of a funny story for the podcast. Uh. So how is... How oh, oh, no, no, I've got something. It's Stephen's birthday today. Oh, it's Stephen's birthday today. Happy birthday, So everyone Stephen. says happy birthday to Stephen yeah. when this is uploaded now can, several weeks after You can after figure out birthday. what day we uploaded this on now. We are reading this on... February. Don't, don't... What? Don't, don't tell them. They can, they can guess what birthday Stephen's birthday is. Okay, right. Try and guess when we started reading this. Well, considering... Hint, it's not anywhere recent. Considering that I'm not actually uploading this as part of the video, I'm uploading this as part of the podcast, which will consist of loads of different clips... So this will be even more yeah, this confusing. Is, this is the It's Stephen's birthday part of the podcast. Can you guess in the It's Stephen's birthday part where <laughs> when we recorded this? Yes, if you haven't gone to all the accounts Stephen's linked to everything to do with us ever, where you can easily see everything about him and probably give him a you know give him a call, give him a knock on his door if you're Irish. <laughs> yes, do that, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, he'll uh, he, he'll this, welcome. This is you a call to all our fans. 
If you can find Stephen's address, go and see him now. And, and you'll him, get a and, secret prize. And wish him a happy birthday. Everyone, I want you to go onto YouTube, and this one's specifically for Jamie, and, and for everyone reading this. I want you to type in the words, Takagi laughs at Mashiro. T-A- No! Why do you have to bring this into it? No, I need to spread Why do you- It's T-A-K-A-G-I laughs at Mashiro, which is M-A-S-H-I-R- uh, Yeah, I-R-O. Just give that a listen, and maybe leave in the comments something- that, Towards Jamie. <laughs> Specifically, I can't, believe, actually, you're, no, I can't leave, believe you're using this to attack Jamie. Oh, no, th- okay. He will st- never read with us again. Backstory on this. This has basically been a long going war between me and Jamie, <laughs> where uh, he would constantly send me stuff saying, This is really funny, you've got to watch it. <laughs> and it's always this fucking anime video of an anime guy laughing at another anime guy in a really stupid way. <laughs> and every single fucking time I fall for it. So, no. No, I've had enough. He even went so far as to c- design a custom YouTube video <laughs> yes. and upload it yes. at, so he could hide it from me so that when I clicked it, <laughs> it was a picture of Celine Dion and that laughing noise looped forever and ever. It's driving me fucking mad. Uh, so if everyone goes there and spams the comments, actually, leave the message, fuck coach. Thank you. Good right, night. Well, I hope you've got out of your fucking... Takagi laughs at Mashiro. Duh! Fuck that video. <laughs> I can't believe you... And Jamie, if you're listening to this, fuck you I too. I can't believe you brought your personal war with Jamie into this. It's, it's no longer personal. Unacceptable. <laughs> it's not personal, it's just fucking business. Oh my god, can you... A plane just picked up <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm closing yeah, the yeah, windows, ben, ben, ben is now at fucking Heathrow. You know, that's where he lives now. We didn't want to tell you guys. Oh, there's that plane coming past my window now. Shit. Everybody's wondering, it's 16 it's minutes NH370 past one. A fucking flying over. Yeah, it just, it just went past your window, now it's going past my window. Yeah, guys, me and Ben live very near to each other. In about 40 yeah. minutes, Spoilers. I want to know if it's coming this way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fucking hell. At least you can't hear it, because, like, my window's closed. Right, that's the window closed, sorry. <laughs> Why did you have your window open? It's fucking, it's March. It's, like, it's March and it's smells Scotland. like death because I just slept in it all day. <laughs> Paul, it's yep. April. Oh, you've lost yeah. seven days. Yeah, no, I I feel like I've lost seven days. I've been on holiday for seven days, and I just haven't done anything. You're a student. You're always on holiday. <sighs> I'm, a mas- I'm a master student. Fuck you. <laughs> we actually do things. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I've seen your fucking Facebook statuses. Shut up. <laughs> uh. But did you finally fucking beat Sonic 2? <laughs> <laughs> I beat Sonic 2 years ago. Fuck you guys. It's Mario 1 that I can't beat. It's the original Mario Brothers. Like Super Mario Brothers. Again, I'm just the safety off. So, <laughs> university, um, in one of the toilets, there's like an abundance of graffiti all over the wall. And one of one of them was like basically a thread on Reddit, which was "rake your shit," and <laughs> everyone was talking about it, and, and you had to give it a rating out of ten. It was very amusing. There's one. There's a great one in uh, uni. It's got it's got an arrow, and it says um, free degree here." When I was in, there was there was one pointing to the toilet roll, and it said "psychology degrees." Oh no, I'm sorry, it was management degrees. So that was fine. And then there was another arrow saying Hib season ticket. <laughs> this is before the Scottish Cup win of 2016 where he beat Rangers 3-2, of course. This is the end of the podcast. Tune in 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 2018 when we finally have more material for another one.